You name it, Charles Bolden has flown it. Now the former astronaut, combat fighter pilot, and Marine Corps general will try to guide the space agency when its supporters say it most needs a skilled high flyer. He's going to face budgetary constraints, technical issues, the remaining shuttle launches and the pending retirement of the space shuttle. NASA faces $3 billion in possible budget cuts. The White House is reviewing the entire manned space program and may substitute something cheaper for the Bush-era rocket system that's currently planned to replace the shuttle. The 62-year-old Bolden has faced tough fights before. If he's confirmed, he will be the first ever African-American administrator. Charlie grew up in segregated South Carolina. Couldn't even get an appointment to the Naval Academy and they had to work it out from a congressman from a different state. When he got to Annapolis, Bolden was promptly elected freshman class president. He knows how to motivate people. Most folks think he will protect manned space flight in this country and try to keep it moving forward. And lift off. Uh, in the meantime, NASA is eking out eight more missions with its three decades old shuttlecraft. This week, the Atlantis crew made its last repair visit to the Hubble Space Telescope. Bolden commanded the shuttle mission, which carried the Hubble into orbit in 1990. NASA's next launch system, a combination of manned and unmanned rockets, was designed with one mission in mind, carrying astronauts and payloads to the space station or the moon. It can't carry out drive-by repair missions like the shuttle could. That's prompted criticism even within NASA. It just makes me want to cry to think that this is the end of it. And there's a five-year gap between the shuttle's last mission and the new system. U.S. astronauts are having to hitch rides on Russian Soyuz rockets, and if there are any delays, of course, that gap could get even bigger. NASA insiders believe Bolden would not have agreed to take this job unless he thought the White House was committed to keeping Americans in space. And the president's stated goal is to put Americans back on the moon by 2020.